I'm gonna do a quick little project here. I got this straight six Chevy valve cover for free. What I'm gonna do is take this rusty piece of sheet, some rusty angle iron, and this little 18 inch LED under cabinet light. This was free. These were free, dug them up out of the, the yard. And uh, this was eight bucks, the valve cover was free. So I've got some nuts and bolts hanging around. Kind of my plan, I'm gonna take this sheet metal and I'm gonna cut it into about a one and an inch, inch and a half strip. Um, and then I'm going to weld on two more small pieces there and there. Sorry, I'm bleeding a little bit. Doesn't look like it's grease mixed with blood. And then two pieces of angle iron that I'll screw into the valve cover on the side. And then two bolts going through the two. Drill some holes, run the bolts through, and then screws through the back of this piece to hold it onto the wall. So, pretty simple. This is gonna be the back piece that screws onto the wall. These are gonna be the two legs of it. There and there. I might not cut all the way through and then just try to break these over on my vise. But I'm gonna cut there, all the way through on the back and here, and then possibly before I cut the back all the way down, I might grind these and start trying to pull them over. So we'll come back to you on the next one. All right, we got each end cut all the way, cut all the way here, and cut all the way here. And then we've got this ground cut, sorry, almost all the way through. Now, if I didn't cut too far, then it'll break. We should be able to just... Oh, it's starting to pop a little bit, oh no. Set it up like that. So I'll get those moved over a little bit more. Take my square, obviously they're not all the way there yet. So get those pushed all the way over. Then I'll burn them in right here and right here. That's gotta be crazy. It's not got a lot of weight, but a couple of good tack welds. I'm not gonna grind the rust off. I chose these pieces on purpose because they're rusty crusty. And that's kind of the look I'm going for, so. Yeah, now all I gotta do is get these all the way back over. While it's clamped down, I'll weld in these. And then I'll flip it over and cut this from the back side. It'd just be easier to get my grinder in, so. All right, just a couple minutes later, got these squared up. Welded all the way along here, just cause why not? This one wasn't as pretty. I did three tacks and then blew through right here. And then welded this one second and welded all the way across. So I just decided to do this one too. Pretty ugly, I am not a welder, but it is what it is. Over. If I cared, I might grind this down a little bit. Just where I blew through the weld. This side's not bad at all. Penetrated really well, so. I got my mark here. We're gonna buzz it through off this side. It's just easier to get your grinder in without those two tabs, you know. I'm just kinda right across it so the fun thing about projects like this is i'm not making this to sell this i'm just making it for myself i got the valve cover for free while i was buying my desoto and i've always seen these you know valve cover lights i wanted to do one but i never had a spare valve cover and i wasn't gonna go buy one not that there's anything wrong with that but so it doesn't have to be pretty it off, it's still hot just like that, we got our back bracket. It's not perfectly flat. But that doesn't matter. After I screw these into the wall, it'll be fine. So, that one's done. Now I'm gonna take and cut some angle iron out of that skinnier piece I had. I'm not sure what, where it went, but I'll find right, it. Got our two little inch and a half pieces here of angle. Hard to do while I'm looking at the camera. One there and one there. I'm still hot. All I did is square up the end on the chop saw and then 
Mark them and cut them pretty easy. I mean, obviously you don't need any fancy tools to do this. You can do this with a hacksaw. You don't have to weld it. You can do this without welding. So that's right, kind of what I have decided on. These two teeny little bolts, two tiny little washers, and two slightly bigger washers, and then these little brass knobs. Got this little kit at the a re a resale store, stocked full of just screws and nuts and washers and bolts and little electrical components and all sorts of fun stuff. So there's like ten bucks for all of it. So got these two knobs. For the outside, the bolts and the washers will come through here. All we've got is drilled my holes through everything. Got those lined up just like that. We'll have our little bolts going through with our washers. I might put another washer between the two pieces to keep them from binding at all. And then we'll put our little knobs on the outside. All right, so yeah. I'll skip a couple steps on you guys. Just drilled all my holes in the angle iron. I wasn't able to use those brass nuts, unfortunately. I can go back and redo it and use those. But those bolts I had weren't the exact right thread. So they weren't getting tight. So I just used these little bolts I have laying around. I've still got the brass ones and I want to use the brass ones. I just like the way they look. So later on, I'll go get some bolts when the stores are open and uh, use those. But for testing purposes, I can use these guys. Drilled two holes in the valve cover. Got it mounted. Pretty simple. So it'll hang on the wall just like this. So you can still read the Chevy on the top. And then you can adjust it back and forth. So that should be pretty cool. So now I gotta drill two holes here to screw this in. And I'm gonna take a piece of plywood and just run it from that to that because you know this is a carport so I don't have studs and stuff to screw it to. But first, this isn't necessary but it'll help. All this rust on the inside of this valve cover. I'm just gonna quickly take a wire wheel and uh, clean it up, spray paint the inside of this white. It'll just help with the reflection. This light here has these little screw holes here for mounting it, but they did line up perfect with my marks, but the screws were just a little bit too short because of these little humps here where the bolts go. They're just a little bit too short to mount it with those. I could find some longer ones and do that, but after about 15 minutes of looking into it, and it, it took me 15 minutes to build this whole thing. But after 15 minutes of looking through hardware, trying to find the right hardware, I just said, screw it. I'm going to double-sided tape this right on here, just like that. That'll be good enough. So I'll get that done and right, show you what it looks like with the wire wheel. Didn't get all of it, not trying to get all of it. Just wanted to get most of it off. Give the uh, 3M tape and the primer a fighting chance to stick. So now we're just gonna take some acetone and a rag and we're gonna wipe it out, clean out the inside, just get all the dust out of there. And then we'll hit it with a coat of paint. I've just got some of this stuff left over. It's some universal bonding primer. It says bond to anything, rust, plastic, glass. So that's what I'm gonna use. The inside sprayed white. I just did one coat, kind of misted it on real light real quick and then went over it all again, a little bit heavier. Pretty nice and glossy and white. Cleaned it out with some acetone afterwards, like I said. That's all it's gotta be, it doesn't gotta be perfect. Just something to give it a little bit of reflectiveness, just better than a rust. So I'm gonna peel the tape off and we're gonna let the paint dry and then we'll do the 3M tape and right, while I was waiting for it to dry, it's still currently drying, but I drilled the two holes to mount it. Like I said, if you've got just a regular wall, drywall, you can use just little drywall anchors and some screws to mount it. I mean, you could make this thing wider to where it'll hit a stud. I just wanted to see as little as possible from the sides, but still see some of it. So I was gonna use plywood, but because that's kind of rustic and old school, I've got a bunch of this old barn wood that I used to build 
this door right here. That's more over here and just all over the place. So I decided to use that. I kind of like the fact that it's broken. It just kind of will go with it. So it's going to mount just right above there. And I'm going to do a pegboard in here. And I'll hide the wire behind the pegboard when I put it up. But I think that'll be cool. That's going to come down once I sighted. I just stuck it up there before I made this plan. So it'll leave, I'll leave it there for now. All right, got it mounted. I've got it tipped down right now just so you can see it. All I did is drill a hole in the back here, big enough for the cord, screwed my board onto the wall, two screws, had it tipped down so I could get my drill in here. And then I double sided taped the light to the bottom of the valve cover. Looks pretty sweet. I can keep it down like this so you can see what it is. Grab a hold of her and Tipper on up. Yeah. All right, got it done, got it installed. Pretty easy. This whole two, uh, workbench is gonna get clean and reorganized. Like I said, I'm gonna have pegboard all along here. Leaving this whole space mostly open. I'll push the tool back, box back a little bit, have the top all open. I've got long arms so I can just reach it and grab it, turn it up a little bit and I have plenty of lighting right on top of this for when I'm working on small stuff, so.